recall it was a Friday Gentle hum before the war I was really young when I wanted to play in front of people. The first time I ever played a real show with my own material in New York City was when I was 12. I've always just had the, the urge to be a big show off, I guess. <laughs> I am constantly writing. I'm, a, I'm addicted to writing. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's also one of my least favorite things to do because it causes me a lot of anxiety. You know, I started doing it at such a young age that it became such a natural part of the way that I live. I like to be incredibly honest with my songs, but I also like to write songs that scare me, that I'm almost afraid to sing because they're so honest. Anytime I write a lyric that I have to think Am I okay saying this? Would I be okay if my mom and dad heard me say this? Am I gonna get backlash for saying this? It excites me because it, it tends to be a very honest lyric that will push me to write a very honest song. Cameron's in drag Makes his father mad Since he was a little boy I always felt more comfortable Cameron is a song that I wrote about feeling like you aren't understood for the thing that you are and rising above that and being able to be beautiful in the way that you define beautiful. I have a friend who is transgendered who helped inspire that song and every night when I sing Cameron I sing it about my friend, I sing it about myself because I'm, I'm singing about being transgendered but I'm also singing about just wanting to feel beautiful and wanting to feel okay with who you are every day when you wake up in the mirror and look in the mirror and go into the world. And I'm singing it now to people that I see in the audience who can share that story because I've been lucky enough to meet a lot of people who um, feel that they can relate to Cameron. These days the world is full of I think the most wonderful part about being an artist is the fact that at the end of the day, all of this could go away. This is a very fickle industry. You never know what's gonna happen. People can forget about you in a second or people can find you in a second. But at the end of the day, I can just go back to my piano and keep writing songs and no one can take that away from me. When the world is over and the